Hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Namaskaram, Vanakam. Welcome to the Pon Sangam Sanjay Sangam Zoom Show on this Sunday, 10th of September 2023. This is our show number 89 in the series and reports about more shows as we go along. Well, the more you express and communicate with yourself and the world around you, the higher is the energy level. Says our guest speaker, Mr. R. Sridhar, joining us from Mumbai. Welcome to the show, Sridhar. In fact, we'll get to know exactly how should we express ourselves to ourselves, how should we express ourselves to others, how should we communicate, and more importantly, how do we measure the level of energy? Well, we are very much thankful to our guest, our, our panel speaker, Dr. Sudha Srikant, who has been instrumental in getting Sridhar on the show. When we begin the show as usual with a prayer followed by the guest introduction, but after the guest speaker takes over and on his completion, we will have an open session where we all can put our views, observations, comments, feedback, and even ask questions which the guest will be more than happy to answer. And finally, we'll wrap it up with a summary and word of thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's kick start the show. Coming up first is a prayer. This is Nirmala Gopala Krishna who will sing the prayer for us. Nirmala Mami, kindly unmute Pane to pardon go. उत्तिष्ट गणपते ऊर्जस्वलाकृते उत्तिष्ट गणपते ऊर्जस्वलाकृते उत्तमतावक तिबितरक्षमा उचित गणपते ऊर्जस्वलाकृते उत्तमतावक सेवित रक्षमा स्वच्छस्वरावय सेकरमांधीर स्वच्छस्वरावय सेकरमांधीर पालितरी पुवीत बक्तपुरंगरा स्वच्छस्वरावय सेकरमांधीर पालितरी पुदीत भक्तपुरंदर मीज सरोरुह काळी बिपल वेडो मीन सरोरुह काळी बिपल वेडो कलम बुजा पल सूत करांबुज मीन सरोरुह काळी बिपल वेडो कलम बुजा पल सूत कर सुंदर वारित मे जगदीत सुंदर वारित मे जगदीत वारण वर मुग वंचित दायक वारण वर मुग जीत दायक वारण वर भूग बाजीत दायक उचित गणपते ऊर्जस्वलाकृते उत्तमतावक सेवित रक्षा Thank you, Nirmala Mami. That was a wonderful rendition. Give me a perfect start to the evening show. Now you can sit back, relax, and get to know how to express yourself to yourself and to the world around you from our guest speaker. Well, last week we had the benefit of having Anjana Keshav Prasad as a guest speaker. And she spoke on a very important subject of forgiveness, the key to empowerment. It is something which has been a learning process for all of us. We need to inculcate the habit of forgiving others who, do, who all do wrong to us. And that's a key to empowerment. Let's have a listen to what we said last week.
இந்த ட்ரையாங்கிள்ல நம்ம மட்டும் சிக்கிக்கல நம்மளோட நல்ல சக்திகள் ஆற்றல் கவனம் இதெல்லாமும் சேர்ந்து இந்த ட்ரையாங்கிள்ல சிக்கின்னு இருக்கு அதனாலதான் சொல்றோம் மன்னிப்பு அப்படி பரவாயில்ல போனா போறது இப்படிங்கிறது மினிமம் மன்னிக்கிற வார்த்தை பரவாயில்ல போனா போறதுன்னு நம்ம சொல்ற சில வார்த்தைகள்னால நம்ம மட்டும் இதுல இருந்து வந்து விடுவிக்கப்பட போறது கிடையாது நம்மளுடைய நல்ல ஆற்றல் நம்மளுடைய கவனம் முக்கியமா நம்மளுடைய சக்தி இது மூணும் வந்து நம்ம இதுல இருந்து விடுபட்டு விடுறோம் அப்படி விடுபடும் போது டிடாச்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் நெகட்டிவிட்டின்னு சொல்றோம் இல்லையா இங்கிலீஷ்ல அப்படி நம்ம வந்து நெகட்டிவிட்டியில இருந்து நம்மளுடைய ஆற்றல் நம்மளுடைய சக்தி நம்மளுடைய கவனம் அட்டென்ஷன் இது எல்லாத்தையும் எடுத்து ஒரு பாசிட்டிவான ஒரு சைட்ல இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணணும் இது எவ்வளவு ஒரு அழகான ஒரு ட்ரேட் ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு சிஸ்டம் ஒரு ட்ரேட் ஆஃப் நம்ம இதுல இதுல அதிகமா லாபம் பார்க்க போறது மன்னிச்சவங்க தான் அதுதான் இன்னைக்கு நான் வந்து இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் செக்மெண்ட்ல ஹைலைட் பண்ண போறேன் இங்கிலீஷ்ல ஒரு அழகான வசனம் இருக்கு the more we delay forgiving the more we tend to attach to the story or the event that caused anger or resentment adinala dhan solrom adhigama endha andha kadaiyila nam adhigama pinaikapatirukiradhil irundhu nammala nam viduvichikano appadina chinna da oru mannippu andha mannippu namakku evlo periya oru laabama amaiyiradhukku na oru eduthu kaatta solliyirken adu oru kayir oru all right the full video is available in my youtube channel is in german kindly log in panni paargo is very very to an interesting moving to the next segment of introducing the guest uh, uh, speaker this evening let me take the advantage of doing it well our speaker is a personal energy coach mentor and was former senior editor with the times of india through his firm energy academy his mission is to create a million energy genies who are they they are people who successfully live an enriched life by managing the energy in and around them see the teachers is flagship course personal energy management in a variety of formats to professionals doctors corporates teachers and also the students well he has also authored a couple of books on the subject and he conducts one on one sessions for total energy makeovers to his firm he also offers extensive content management services from ghost writing to self publishing well that's an excellent profile sir the sir well you are all ready to hear about the way how we express and communicate with ourselves and with others straight from the horse's mouth well there is time for the guest speaker to take over is in german in all as usual maintain a mic in mute status so that we do not disturb our close of speaker and on its completion we will have an open session sri dar sir the floor is all yours now thank you sir i like the way you communicate to start off <laughs> this is my second time at tapovan i am very grateful to all those who joined today thank you for inviting me uh, mommy your bhajan was your prayer song was very very good so congratulations ah uh, it's a pleasure to be here because uh, you all are people who have seen lives up and down lives up and ups and downs and to me that is classic personal energy management the ability to see the ups the ability to see the downs without being too much affected by both maintaining your equilibrium and that's what uh, seniors senior citizens uh, are enriched with so my namaskarams to all of you and uh, uh, my request is that can you come with your videos because it's it's nice to see all in person and interact like this you know online sessions are anyway difficult okay uh, so yes kainas bela and these people are jay ji nice to see everybody here uh, forgive me if i have missed some of some names who i know from this group anybody here who had come for my last time session apart from mr subramanian of course anybody here if you can just do a thumbs up there are quite a few of them yeah from, yeah okay okay so the subject that i am going to talk today is about communication you know uh, and and before before i even start it need not be that you have to ask me questions only at the end you can you can just interact with me okay it's going to be a conversation it's not going to be a, a lecture okay now communication when we talk of communication the first thing that we think is speaking on stage or 
talking to someone or writing a book, right? But when you talk of communication, it's it's far, far more beyond that. And we don't even realize when we have stopped communicating, when we have uh, we don't understand how to communicate, when we have stopped communicating with ourselves, when we don't know what is happening within our system, when uh, how to communicate with the universe, should we talk in English? Should we talk in Tamil? Should we talk to God in Tamil? We assume God will understand us. We take God as the universe. Different people take the concept of universe in different ways. What I'm trying to tell you here is that when our communication or expression stops, there is what is called an energy block in our system. Now, since I'm going to talk about energy, I think I'll have to repeat one exercise which I had done last time also, so that those who are new here will be able to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so again, with your videos on if possible, can you just rub your hands? Please come with your videos on so that it's good fun. Rub your hands, okay, nicely, yes. Take it apart and bring it close. Take it apart and bring it close. Take it apart and bring it close. What do you sense between your palms? Can you unmute yourself and tell me what you sense between your palms? There's a magnetic force. There's a magnetic force. Anything else that you feel? If you've lost it, you can you can rub it again. Push it out, bring it in. Push it out, bring it in. What can you feel? Come on, let's let's be interactive. This has to be an interactive session. Do you feel a kind of a current? Do you feel a kind of a force? Something between your palms? Anybody here would like to answer me? Repel and attraction. Yes, Priya, correct. Yeah, Ripple. there's some uh, some kind of, uh, I can't express, it's some kind of uh, something stopping me. Something stopping closer. you, something pushing yeah. you, and something yeah. pulling you also. Yeah. So basically, what you're experiencing are two, uh, you can say, properties. One is repulsion, one is attraction. You're also feeling a current kind of feeling, uh, uh, something, some heat, right? Some kind of, something is there in between the palms. So if you've lost it, again, you can rub it. You can again generate it for yourself, okay? What you felt are two forces of physics. Can you tell me what are these two forces of physics that you felt? Two forces. In physics, what causes repulsion and attraction? And what causes current? Which branch of physics? Electricity and magnetism. You form, you you experience two forces between your between your palms, electricity and magnetism. Okay, that's because the human body, we all, we are electromagnetic. We generate electricity in our body. We generate magnetism in our body. You know where we generate electricity? In the cells of our body, the calcium, magnesium the sodium and the potassium. They interact and they generate electricity. Do you know how much electricity a human body can generate? Any guesses here? Anybody can guess how much gen how much electricity a human body can Maybe generate? It could, it, could, it could provide current to the entire city of Mumbai. To, current to the? City of Mumbai. <laughs> it generates 100 watts. The human body has the capacity to generate 100 watts of energy. You can check it out online, okay? So you'll find that that's true. But we waste much of it, okay? We waste much of it. So if we were to generate a lot and sustain it, then we would be that much more powerful. So in my workshops, I show how monks, okay? How monks generate that energy and they don't let it go waste. So as a result, they can consciously, consciously transmit a charge. So that means they hold your hand and it's perfectly normal, okay? But if they want to transmit a current, they can transmit a current and you'll get a shock. Okay, so I have videos where monks, okay, this is a Vietnamese monk, no, uh, Indonesian monk, I think. Who does that? He, he can roll a piece of paper and he can charge it and it'll catch fire. Now, how are these things possible? 
because the human body is electromagnetic, right? Now, last time also I had given a similar example. Jailer has come, right? How many of you all have seen Jailer? You all are Rajnikanth fans, I'm assuming? No? No? Whose fans are you all? Rajnikanth or Kamalasan or Shivaji or who is it? Let's assume Rajnikanth has come into your room, okay? What will you all do? What will be the first reaction if Rajnikanth walks into this room? We are all sitting in a room. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Subraman. <laughs> oh my God, Rajnikanth, are you Rajni? Huh? Ah, huh? So what is this reaction? What is, what, how would you describe this reaction? <gasps> when do you get this kind of reaction? See, I'm not able to see any Surprise. of Surprise. Surprise. Anything more than that? Are you surprised? Surprise comes like this. Oh, Rajnikan. Oh, Rajni. This is, ah! okay. This is this. It's an aura. This is shock, right? This is shock. Shock comes from the word from, from physics, correct? Right? So what will happen? You know, like this, and someone says, you know, Rajnikanth is standing near the lift outside, yeah? Okay. So suppose we are all, how many of us? We are 21 of, 23 of us, yeah? 21 of us. So we are all in the room. What will you all do? Won't you all just, like a zombie, you all will stand up like this, and like a zombie, go towards the lift to watch Mr. Rajnikanth? Will you all take my permission? I am the... And the conductor of the course. No way. No, no way. Exactly. No way. You all will be mm, going there to the lift. Okay. And you all will look at him. And he probably will flick a cigarette or something. And he will take off his glasses. And probably he will touch you all. Okay. Will you be able to speak? Will you even wash that hand that touched you? Right. No. You won't. You will feel that some part of Rajnikan is stuck in you. He may have touched you, uh, uh, who, who, he must have gone, right? But something of his has remained with you. And by the time you come back into the room, will the course continue? <laughs> it will, no. but not in a way it will continue. Exactly, because you all will be in a daze, right? You will be in a, it's completely shaken up. What has happened here? Now, coming back to my electromagnetic expression, what has happened here? You all have been magnetized, right? You'll have got magnetized. An electric current passed through you. You got a shock, right? If you're able to handle that electricity, you're fine. If you're not able to handle, you'll scream and shout and you'll faint. Have you seen fans of Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khan do that? It's because they're not able to handle the electricity. I'll come to you. Why I'm talking about all this before I come to the communication part. Okay. So we are basically electromagnetic. We are constantly dealing with electricity and magnetism everywhere. We are pulsating all the time, pulsating with everything around us. So if I'm sitting on this chair, I'm pulsating with this computer, with all of you. If I'm interesting enough, I will be generating electricity in your body. If I'm interesting enough, you all will be magnetized. If I'm not, the electricity will go down. You all will feel repulsive. Oh God, why am I sitting in this course here? Let me find an excuse and get out. What is that force? Repulsion. Okay. If I am rude with you, you all will want to be away from me. If I'm very nice with you, you all will want to come near you. You understood this, this force constantly? Okay. So we are all the time playing with this force, whether we realize it or not. I'm giving you a structure right now and I'm kind of decoding everyday existence for you in terms of physics. Okay. But our everyday existence, we deal with it in terms of emotions. Correct? We say, oh, he spoke to me like that. How dare he speak to me? Okay? Now that is emotion. But in physics terms, suppose you just translate the whole thing into physics. How will you deal with it? What is the frequency that this man is sending towards me or this woman is sending towards me that is making me feel like this? If this frequency is coming to me, should I also allow it to affect, affect my frequency? No. So I am a frequency. This person is a frequency. This plant is a frequency. This television is a frequency. This computer is a frequency. Everything is a frequency. I am dealing with frequencies all around me and I need to manage myself. I need to know what is my frequency. I need to know what is the frequency with which of this person who is going to relate to me. This person with whom I'm not having a great relationship here. Since 10 years, I'm having a fight with this man. Okay. 
what has happened to my frequency with that person? The moment I see that person, I feel, why is that person in my life? Okay. Issue of frequencies, right? There's something which happens when the moment that person comes in front of you happens. So how do you not allow this grr to happen and allow this to happen? Beautiful, harmonious frequency. Have you seen when you get in touch with someone who you really love, who you met after five years, what do you do? Oh my God, you know, and you hug and kiss and this and that. What is happening? If you were to judge just in terms of frequency, if you were an electrician and you were looking at this relationship between these two individuals, how will you how will you decipher and, and depict it? You will see beautiful, harmonious, zoom, 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 wavelengths matching with each other. Correct? So the game is that the more your wavelength matches with everything around you, everything inside you, okay, we relate inside, we relate outside. The more you are harmonious, the better your relationship. Am I making sense here? So if you have, say, done something gadbad in life, okay, and you're hiding it from people, okay, no one should know about this, okay, but that thing is like poking you, oh, I did this thing wrong, but you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, somewhere is there, it is in your system, you have not let it go, right, now it is a wound, it is a festering wound, it is what we call an energy block, that means, when, that's, when that thought comes of that episode of what you have done, suddenly the energy does not flow. It gets blocked. And when it gets blocked, the energy starts to stagnate. And when something starts to stagnate, it starts to stink. When it starts to stink, just like garbage and gutter water, you don't want to go near it. So when someone would, would tell you, do you know, you want to talk about that thing that you did you know, five years back, which you're not very proud of, and you'll say, no, I don't even want to go near it. See the words you use. You use exactly the same words as you would use in a physical situation where something is maybe garbage. Okay. And you say, oh, it's so unpleasant. I don't want to go near it. But the point is that inside, that is festering. So till you put on a mask, okay, put some perfume, okay, and take, put some gloves and go into that energy block and till you don't release it, you will constantly be poked. Now, this is what I'm trying to say about inner communication. You have to be very beautifully communicating with your body inside. How many of you all feel very nice about yourselves? Let's be honest here, okay? This is a family, right? Uh, a 24-member family right now. So just share. I would love to see you all here. Yeah. I will can you all come on video? Is it is that a problem? Yeah. I'd love to see your faces. And also you can keep yourself unmuted if it's not noisy in your background. And just have a conversation with me. So how many of you all have okay? Let me start off by doing this. How many of you all have hugged yourself? How many of you all have hugged yourself? Very nice, Kainas. Very nice, Bela. Do you know why you need to hug yourself? Have we ever thanked ourselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this body is like a superconductor. Yeah? Since my first breath, it has worked non-stop without salary, without leave. And without even recognition. Think of yourself that if you, would you work in a corporate setup where all these three things are missing? <laughs> Mira boss is not even giving me a nice smile saying that you've done a good job. That's what we complain about, right? And then we say we don't know increment also. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no fan, no AC. Look at the way he's kept me as an employee. All these body parts are working for you continuously. Are you keeping them nicely? Are you even thanking them? Are you grateful to them? It's not for me to answer. It's for you to answer. Okay. And then we say, oh, my body is paining, this leg is paining, this knee is giving away. Oh, my God. Hey, whoa. 
why won't it give away? Of course, it will give away. Because it is angry with you. It's saying, I'm doing this work for this guy or this lady and a thank you. So the best way the hardware, what hand goes behind us. I want you all to all to yourself because you all are beautiful human beings. You are beautiful human beings. You deserve the biggest and tightest hug, right? And when you hug, you need to rock. You need to rock. Remember how a baby likes to be hugged and rocked. It goes off to sleep, right? So you pat yourself like this, okay? If you want, you close your eyes and rock and sway and say, well done, man. Use your nickname. Whatever is your nickname, whatever has been, you've been called since your childhood, whatever your friends call you with all the musty in the life, right? Call that yourself and, and just don't use your proper name. Don't say Sridhar. I will not say Sridhar. I will say Sridi. I will say Chiri. I will say whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Kanna, whatever, whatever my mother calls me. I'll... <laughs> my sister is also here. Hi, Manu. Ah. And when you hug yourself and you feel nice and ah, like that, you should feel that intuitively that I have felt full. When you do this, do this every day. If you can do it in the morning when you wake up and you say, you know what? Okay, what is, give me one of your nicknames. Let me, let me take an example. Kainas, what's your nickname? Kainu. Kainu. Kainu, na? So, okay, this is Kainas hugging herself. Okay, so Kainu, you're going to have a beautiful day. Okay, just watch how you're going to be successful in everything you do. And you know what? And your Kainas, Kainu is telling herself, okay, you know, Kainu, you have been working so beautifully. I'm so proud to have you in my life. Thank you very much. I bow down to you. How many of y'all have taken your blessings? <laughs> How many of y'all have taken your blessings? Nobody, nobody. Nobody, we don't do it. One of the best ways is just touch your feet and... You know, I mean, it's your mother in a you know, manner of speaking. It's like holding you like this every day, right? You don't even realize it. The only way, okay, I'll come to this later, but your your communication with your body, okay, has to be top notch. I mean, I was, I'll just share this with you. I don't know whether Anita Srinivasan is here. She was going to join. So Anita stays in Bandra in Bombay. So last week, uh, 10 days back, I did a, a, a pendulum, advanced pendulum dowsing session in her house. And No, 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 sorry. I did it online and there were three, three four of them. So during the course, <clears throat> Anita tells me that she has kidney stones. Okay. Diagnosed. Now, so what I did, I did a creative visualization exercise with her online like this. Okay. So what we did, we, I made her take her two kidneys. Okay. One being held in this hand, one being held in this hand. All three of them, we went to a discotheque. Okay. We went to a discotheque. And the kidneys and Anita are dancing their hearts out. Okay. Full fun. Okay. Full fun. All, all the work in the body is all left behind. Okay. The three of them are having fun. They're kissing each other. They're hugging each other. They're having a ball of a life. And then they go out to have ice cream. They go out for a long walk and they talk about their lives and how is it to be part of my body and what is it? La, 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 la. Then after that, they come back into their into your body, okay? And do two kidneys. Are you understanding this whole concept here? It's creative visualization. You are imagining, consciously imagining. The two kidneys come back and we 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 kind of conclude that session. That creates CV. We call it CV, okay? Just two minutes, okay? Post the session. So it was a three-hour session. So post the session, Anita gets fever. That evening, and she gets abdominal pain. Okay, 
Next day, she goes to the doctor. She does a CT scan and the kidney stones are vanished. The kidney. Sorry, Sridhar, you got, you got muted. Sorry. Sridhar, you got muted. Sorry. So I don't know till where I was. There. No, so no, no, I... Anita got fever. <laughs> Anita got fever. She got, <laughs> I got fever. And she got this abdominal discomfort. Okay. So next day she goes to check herself, does a CT scan, and she finds that there is no kidney stone. The kidney stones have automatically got washed away. Now, if you ask me, how did this happen? I don't know. All I encouraged her or is guided her to do, do was to communicate with her kidney. The kidney is trying to communicate to saying, oh, my kidney has an issue. You don't go to the doctor, you come to me, I'll tell you what I have to do. This is what I mean by communication. So if we were to internally communicate with every part of our body, imagine what would happen. So one of the beautiful exercises, which probably you can do right now, are you game to do it right now? Okay. Is to go inside yourself and have a round table conference with every body part that you have. Do you know how to do that? Game? I want to do it? Okay. So close your eyes, okay? And visualize you're going inside your body through your Agnya Chakra. Agnya Chakra is between the eyebrows. So you're going inside and keep yourself, before you start, keep yourself unmuted. Let me know. Can you unmute yourselves, please? Provided there is no noise in your background there. And mm -hmm. as you, what you're experiencing, just let me know. Unmute yourself, please. Unmute yourself. Yeah. So you're going inside your body through your Agnya Chakra. That means between your eyebrows. Okay. You've gone behind the eyes. You've gone to your throat. What is the color you're seeing inside? What are you seeing? What is the first impression you're getting? Come on. Darkness. Darkness. Okay. <clears throat> You want a light, put on a tube light or something? Are you, what kind of a smell are you getting? Are you feeling comfortable? Are you feeling claustrophobic? Are you feeling light? No, no, comfortable. 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 Do you wish the sunlight could come in and kind of bathe all these guys? They've been living yes. in darkness for so much time. Okay. So yes. let's metaphorically open out the windows. Okay. And let the sun come in. Now are you able to see the inside part of your body? Is there light? Yeah, it's yellow. Yeah. It's yellow. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to put on some music? It's very silent, yeah. right? Inside? Yeah. Like a factory, they're all going on doing their jobs. Maybe they'd like some music. So maybe some light music. Okay. Do you want to put on an agarbatti or something? No, I'm allergic to smell. <laughs> You're allergic to smell. Okay. Okay. So those who are comfortable introducing a perfume inside, you always do it. If not, that's also okay. Let's go down. Let's go down. Are you seeing your heart pump? You're traveling in your body. Are you seeing your heart pump? Are you seeing your blood in your arteries, in your veins? Are you seeing your lymph nodes? Are you seeing your liver? Are you seeing yes. your stomach, your alimentary canal, the food going down? Are you seeing the acids being created? Do you feel that there is too much acid being created? What is your impression as you're going to? What, what is the too first thing? Food. Too much food. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? My Thank body you. feels so calm. Much. Your body says? Feels calm. Feels calm. Okay. Anybody else? I can see the blockages. You can see the blockages. Okay. Are you seeing the body Not parts? able to move out easily. Okay. Are you seeing it? Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Are you able to see? Uh, are they happy? Are these body parts happy? Are they smiling? Are they comfortable? No. They were saying we need a link. They need relief. Okay. Anybody else? Suppose you go down further. Go to the kidneys. Hello, kidneys. How are you? In the stomach area, I can see that. Hmm. Okay. Go to the navel area. How is the navel area? Are you able to go near the navel area? That feels a bit, bit 
Oh. No, I'm not able to look. You're not able to go. It's very tight. Yeah. Very, very tight. tight. Good. Are you feeling not it heavy there? Are you feeling it heavy yes. there? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. I'll tell you the reason why you're feeling that way. Okay. Hello, kidneys. Hello, back. Hello, muscles. Hello, bones. Hmm. Are they all very bored of life? Do you feel that they are very bored of life? Same thing every day, every moment. Yeah. Doing the same jobs. No relief. No thank you. Feel like they're working like a machine and all. Hmm. Hmm. I think more than um. Bored. It's a little agitated. Agitated. Okay. Go down to your pelvis, to your genital areas, your gynec area. Go down to the thighs. Go down to the knees. Are your knees happy? What do you see in your knees? Uh, when I was going down, I felt a little bit of pain in the thighs. In the thighs. Okay. Do you Me want too. to? Do you want to just pat the knees from inside, saying that I understand? Yes, I can understand. Thank you yeah. for telling me. I am here. My apologies for not coming so many years. Now that I am here, I will take care of you. You want to pat their cheeks, like the way you would do a small child. You go to the go to the knees. How are the knees? Are you able to even go down the knees to your feet? Yes. Able yes. to go feet. Are you able to gauge the ankles? Your feet are taking your weight every moment. Ankle area again. I'm feeling a pain. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Same your ankle area pain. Mm. See this? Just by communicating, self diagnosis. Do one thing. Come back to the navel area and call everybody. Call everybody. Hold hands with them. So it's not even holding hands. It's your hand on their shoulder, their hand on your shoulder. So it's like how the Indian team does a huddle on the cricket field. Okay. So your bones, your blood, your veins, your all your body parts, everything, your brain, everybody is coming together. Okay. Are they willingly coming, or they, are they saying, "Arey, yar, abhi kisne kya ho gaya usko? Why is he calling us?" Are they reluctantly coming, or are they jumpingly coming? Are they happily happy. coming? They're happy. They're happy. You're happy. Okay. Cool. Feeling like merry-go-round. Very, nice. very nice. Okay. So you're all standing around. Okay. And you all want to dance. I can yeah. see my heart very really happy. Very nice. You want to dance. You want to just enjoy yourselves. Put on some loud music and just chill. Yes. Okay. You want to do a potluck in the middle. <laughs> okay. You want to thank you all. Thank all of them. Maybe you can give a speech saying that. You can apologize that you've never done this before, but I would want to do it from now on. My apologies for not listening to you when you were trying to get my attention, but I've learned my lesson and I'm here for you. Let me know how I can help you in any way possible. I love you. And you want to give them nice roses, all of them, for beautifully taking care of you for so many years. You know, just hug. Just be silent, just smile, enjoy their company, and say you will visit them again, and say bye bye, and come out through your agya chakra. <laughs> well done. How was it? See what you found out. You I heard them. You heard them. Mm. And I'm in tears. Okay, you want to cry? Go ahead. Please go ahead yeah. and cry. Please cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's absolutely okay. Anybody else would like to express what you all went through? I'm just feeling very warm. I'm sweating. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Super I actually um, do this often because of my yoga practice. Not this way, but I go through my body almost on a daily basis. Very nice. Um, <laughs> So I practice yoga nidra and I go through all my points Very in my body super, and I super. and release whatever. But this was so fun to do, like to invite them all together in one spot and do a little, yeah. Jig. you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really it was nice. fun. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else would like to express? First timers who never done this before. Yes, Jaiji. 
Yeah, I'm feeling very relaxed and very much at peace. Very nice. Very nice. See how you are. I'm feeling little bit of guilt, like I have. Why I ignored them? No matter. No matter. You're human. I, You're I, I human. Puja. You earlier workshop also where you did the chapel active uh, therapy. Yes. That, yes. Then also that day also I cried and today also I cried and I feel like, oh my god, I miss I miss them so much now. Yes. Why I ignored them? No matter. No matter. It happens. And right? see the yeah. piece, uh, let me tell you, I always now thank my chapel. Super. And I ask the colleagues also to do it. It's a lot of fun. Hmm. Hmm. So to just to explain to the others, the, the Pooja had attended my workshop. So there I I teach how to connect with an in, inanimate object because that is also a frequency, right? It has atoms inside. Yes. So just as you connect with a human being, you can connect with anything around you. So that's what she's talking about. So the exp express experiment is to speak to our chapel. Okay. To find out how happy or sad they are to be part of our system, <laughs> to be carrying our weight every day. Yes. So, so Pooja, Jeez, I, sorry, I have a question. Um, sure. Why are we all struggling with the naval region? Everyone. Yeah, welcome. See that? <clears throat> that's why I asked the question. Are you able to go near there? Go near there. See how intuitively you couldn't, you couldn't go near the navel. Yeah, why? it was totally dark. It was totally dark there. Yes, why? Why? Can you tell me why? Emotions. Yes, but why navel? Is that connected to the cord, uh, like you? It is. What chakra is there? Chakra. there is a chakra. Yes. Solar chakra. Solar, yes. solar plexus. Yes. The Manipura chakra is located there. Manipura chakra. The Manipura chakra. Right? Yes. The Manipura chakra is the custodian of it holds all the emotions. So when we, you know, lack communication with ourselves, right? Somewhere we don't want to communicate. Then somewhere we don't want to go near certain experiences in life. Some, you know. Or we feel a low self worth. Maybe it could be a childhood thing. Someone told us something, and we've carried it. So our communication with ourselves is: you're know, you're not good enough. Okay, you're not good enough. You're not as good looking as that person. You're not as fair or blah 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 as compared to that person. As rich as that person. As tall as that person. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, our parameters, right? How we define success. so that is our conversation right so what kind of conversation are you having with yourself are you constantly putting yourself down do you say mat have you seen i call this the martyrdom syndrome i call this the nirupa roy syndrome have you heard of nirupa roy she was this it, eternal eternal mother in indian in hindi films where she would always be that you know i'll be lying in the corner i'll suffer the all the the hardships of the world you all go and enjoy okay this is typical martyrdom where my interests and my identity and my wajood and my you know astitva everything is last i don't deserve the best i deserve the worst you all go and enjoy because you all deserve it this is the attitude okay and many people have this if i were to just ask are you one of them <laughs> there will be hands going up yes if you are honest with yourself maybe not to the extent of nirupa roy but many women many women many mothers have this it's very deep rooted condition is very, oh, yeah, very deep rooted and we are aware of it and still unable you can't to... do anything absolutely yeah. i understand that i understand that so you all are See, because you all change roles, right? The the, okay. the woman, the woman, woman's changes roles so much in life. It's not funny. A man would never be able to do it. He'll collapse. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, the woman is six times stronger than man energetically. I mean, think about it. You get married, okay? You get married. You, you, you in the Hindu system, the gotra itself changes. The sardine changes. Okay, so it's a new house. Abhi ye tumara ghar hai. Okay, I mean, look at the, look at the thought. That itself is a change, right? And then you you have a child. It's a biological change. I mean, then there's a physical change post that. Then you are responsible for this child. That's a different call altogether. So 
in all this, you're the bahu of the house, you're the, you know, blah, 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 blah. So many roles. So ultimately, when you reach 40, 45, when your child has flown out of the nest, you're suddenly filled with a vacuum. And you're suddenly wondering, who am I? What is my identity? Once upon a time, I was X. <laughs> but I moved far away from that. And I don't even know where I am right now. I'm not earning. I'm not, uh, you know, children have flown out. I've done my job now. What do I do? Many, 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 many women are in this space. Do you agree with me? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's a yes. very, very hollow feeling. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. And you're struggling for identity. And that's where you are vulnerable. Then the depressions are all waiting like this. Yow, yow, okay. <laughs> All it takes is one weak moment and the depression comes in. Right? Or or any other addiction comes. In. See, it could be anything because you have weak energy. You are low energy. Right? So what I am trying to tell you here is communication. Again, I will come back because that is the subject of today. And I feel that the way we communicate with ourselves or the way we do not communicate with ourselves is the reason why our energy is always upper nature. I am not saying always low, but upper nature. Okay, I talk. I we did this experiment of talking to our body. Now, the Manipura chakra is where the emotions are stored. You see, when we are when we eat food, we don't have all the food of the world, right? We just take how much of is required for our body system, and post that we stop, right? And we defecate. So we use it. We consume the food. The body uses the the food and the nutrient. And it discards what it doesn't need. Similarly for water. We consume, we use, we discard. If the discard doesn't happen, we cannot eat the next food or cannot drink the next water. But everything is a form of energy. Thought is a form of energy. Knowledge is a form of energy. Love is a form of energy. All these are ways in which energy, we experience energy. But when thoughts come, we get apparently, I don't know, there's a count also, some billion thoughts a day or something. Okay. What do we do with those thoughts? Every thought is not useful for us. <laughs> Correct. It comes, we use those thoughts and they reside. We do not let go of those thoughts. Right. So a typical thing is in 1972, you told me this when you were in school. You insulted me at that time. So it may have been 50 years gone, but you are still holding on. I mean, I'm I'm kind of counseling a lady who is who felt slighted and who felt insulted when she was in school. She's 70 years today. Okay. She's not been able to move on from there. And the same pattern is repeated. So what I'm trying to say is all those thoughts, the kachra, it's kachra. It's no longer useful, but you have kept it within your system. Where is it in your system? At the navel. So your navel area is so full and chock a block <laughs> that when That's you went time. inside your body, you could not even go near it. Darkness, everything. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you need to clear your navel. One of the best ways is to apply till oil, warm till oil. Just apply in your navel round clockwise. Take out your emotions. So if you can take a book and just write down any angering thought. If you're angered with someone, if you're whatever, you know, which is causing your breath to become faster. That is your barometer. What is causing my breath to go faster and what is causing the breath to go slower? So faster is, that means your frequency is getting affected. Slower is, that means your frequency is getting stronger. This is the only thing you need to see. Right? So take a book or you can take a mobile phone and you can open the recorder and just talk it out. Talk it out, talk it out, talk it out. Talk it out. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Don't see handwriting, don't see language, don't see anything. Don't even see what you're writing. Just close your eyes, put the pen on paper and allow the pen to move. And, 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 and even if it's just scribbling, it's okay. Just let it go. Go, 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 go. And when you feel that you've done, take that paper, tear it, flush it down the toilet or burn it off. Don't read what you have written. 
have i written properly line pe hai kya okay language barabar hai kya kuch nahi dekhne you just have to push it out because it's puking you need to puke the more you emotionally puke the more your solar plexus will become empty the more that becomes empty the more your energy level rises so this is about inner communication understood in the same way is your communication outside with people around you how are you seeing them are you judgmental is your equation with others what is your frequency with others are you do you have a lot of people who you don't like you need to analyze for yourself right are you not able to get along with many people are people comfortable sitting next to you what is your brand value <laughs> in my pm group we had discussed this the brand value is what how people describe you when you are not around that is that is brand value so if they after you move out from Can the I scene ask is, one question, sure please yes pooja like you said a brand value uh, like if i uh, most of them to be like emotional so is it connected to my uh, body is it connected to my like more like uh, blockage in an uh, area secretory yeah, area see there most when you were a child let me say ek baat batao pooja when you were a baby or when you were a small child hmm. did you have any issues with anybody uh-huh. you wouldn't have had now look at a child does it have issues with anybody no I, uh, in the area as we grow older as we grow older then something takes over our life which is called ego right there is ego mm-hmm. which steps in and mm-hmm. it decides whether we should do something mm-hmm. or should not do something and that's what blocks our communication correct right? so there that is where mm-hmm. we have differential relationships so if you were to drop your ego whatever it may be that person yes. may have said something okay you know mm-hmm. that person is at fault technically okay mm-hmm. it's okay but it's in your interest that my frequency with everybody around mm-hmm. me is smooth because it helps me it doesn't help me if i'm going to be Mm. avoiding this person avoiding that person that person is okay but as long as that person does this 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 you know lot of conditions in your relationships many people deal mm. with relationships like this with lot of conditions only if that person comes and apologizes to me it's like gabbar singh saying you know have you seen shole yeah you must have seen shole come here yeah. and touch my mm. feet tumhara sar mera paav okay so that's so there is a condition for me to normalize my communication or equation with you <laughs> so many people are, he has to come to my house and say sorry to me only then will i talk to him have you seen these kind of equations with people it's classic ego right classic ego mm-hmm. and the ego is harming you only na it's not harming the other person it's harming you there is i, I mean to go a little deeper relationships are governed by a band of energy at the navel it's called the dandian everybody is governed by a dandian okay and the traditionalists okay. always knew that there is a band of energy so if we are getting along right now it's because my dandian from my navel is connected to your dandian at your navel and you can see this dandian in a moment or in a in a state of meditation it comes across as a white band now if the relationship is is not good then this this band is not white at all it is of different color it could be dark it could be smoke it could be like a wire you know it depends on the quality of the relationship so this is going a little deeper so i wouldn't touch that subject here but i'm saying there is far more to relationships and when your relation with someone else is not good it affects your navel because relationships are governed at the navel that's why when you have a breakup when someone hurts you where do you get a pull where do you get as if someone has stabbed you it is at the navel right it's at the navel right you get gut feelings at the navel why because also the way the heart right heart is there of course heart is there but it, the vagus nerve you know the vagus nerve there is a nerve in the body which travels from the back of the head down and it ends at the navel okay so when you are hurt ping yes you did not hurt i can imagine the pain here only yeah so for instance when you when you hear the death of someone okay and it does is this death is close oh, just, close person yes. have you seen many people rush to the loo their bowels give away right 
That's because the navel shifts, mm. the nabi shifts. Mm. Okay, the nabi shifts and then you have to correct it. So emotions, trauma, hurt, relationships, all are governed. I just the interrupt navel. you. Yes. My mother just passed away a couple of months back. I'm so sorry. So, I'm so like sorry. seeing her, you know, like my navel, it was a pulling sensation. You know, I was crying from there. You know, there was a pulling sensation. Yes. I was just wondering ki, what is happening to me. So, you mm. know. I, I'm just relating to that. Yes, so, yes. Now you're able to put the dots together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. why it was happening. Yes. But from the navel, you know, there was a pulling. You know, ho ra ji, so. Ji, ji. so again, just if, you, if it's still happening, you can apply the thin oil that I was mentioning earlier. It will it is smoothen it down. You can even walk barefoot on grass, on mud. So when you do that, you ground yourself. So this excess energy which is stuck here will, will flow down. Understood? So it's basically you need to allow the energy to flow. Energy in its natural state should always be flowing. Okay. So you need to keep giving away. Keep letting go. Keep letting go. We don't let go. Now we hold, hold, hold. So the energy inside is stagnating. That is what God is, right? Generation, organization, destruction. So when this energy which comes in and it's beautifully used by the body and it beautifully let gone, when these three movements are happening like this, the energy is beautifully flowing. And when that happens, we say, God is in you. Otherwise, God is not in you, so to speak, right? So this is communication with, you can say, someone else. And then um, the last bit is communication with the universe. We talk to our God, right? We talk in our mother tongue, in our feelings, we talk to an idol or we talk to anything. But does the universe really understand English? Anything. Any language. We say, how many of you all feel money is the root of all evil? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> how many really of you all use the word filthy rich? Mukesh Ambani is filthy rich. Yes. Have you ever used that word? Filthy rich. Yeah. Ah, filthy is wrong. Hmm. Filthy See the word. Wrong. See the programming, right? We are filthy programmed in such a way. Bachpan say, don't hanker after money. You'll be called greedy. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then we worship Goddess Lakshmi saying that I need more money. But hey, your system is programmed. Saying that don't don't get the money in. <laughs> you should not you should not go after money. But you're wanting the money. See the see the miscommunication here? Your communication with the universe is completely warped. And then you're saying, Oh, God is not giving me anything. I am asking and asking, but he's not giving me. <laughs> How will he give? Because you're full, you're not letting go, A. And when you're and two, you're programmed in such a way that you're not able to accept it. The universe saying, I'm willing to give you what you want, man. Tell me what you want. Oh, I want a one BHK. I want a two BHK. Is that a good program? Is that a good way to communicate with the universe? I want a big house. I want to be happy. I want a good job. Think about it. This is how we talk, right? But think whether that is good communication. Big house. A slum dweller will find one BHK large, but a one BHK holder will find a two BHK large. So what is what is a big house? How do you define a big house? Can you get a big house at when you are 85 years old? Is that okay? Because you, you just want a big house, right? You didn't say by when. So am I right? I want a good job. I want to be happy. What is, what is all very... Mm. There is no structure. There is no, there is no structure. I want a three BHK at Bandra West or Annanagar or the best place in Kadalur, wherever, <laughs> wherever Tapo is, right? I want a three BHK with, with adequate water supply, not tanker water supply. Airy with a garden in front where butterflies come. Where the plants grow beautifully, even after the valley has left it that way. I mean, think of it, right? How you are programming, and I want it by this date. 
this may be my want, but hey, universe, tell me if this should be my want and whether I need this. Please give it to me only if you feel that I need this. How are you communicating? <laughs> Do you want to take on more than what you can handle? Then the energy so, will handle you. It will shake you up. Yesterday I was reading about how that guy in Kaun Banega Karorpati who won 5 crores in UP. Have you read about this guy? He is no. back on the streets. He won 5 crore. He couldn't handle the energy. Mm -hmm. So the energy handled him. People made a fool out of him. This, that, he donated. He, he's back down on the street now selling milk. You can Google this. Understood this. So the man got mad after getting a lottery. Lottery mila or pagal hoge. Have you heard this phrase? Why would someone get mad after getting so much money? It's because it's not money, it's energy. And if his capacity is so much and he is attracting so much or wanting this much, then he is going to shake under that weight. Because the universe will say, you wanted it, man. I'm going to give it to you. Then it's yours. <laughs> so that's why be careful of what you ask for. Because it could be yours. And then you have to handle it. Right? So the game I'm saying here, to conclude, I think we're at 625. Sure. Am I am I late in my... Uh, no, no, my... please carry on. No, we are enjoying, sir. <laughs> Thank you. It's so interesting. Thank you. So the, the whole game here is that if you don't set right your communication internally with the people with the universe which means that if you don't set right your frequency inside outside oh, with yeah. the universe then you are in for trouble oh that's too too big a word but you can say you won't be living an optimal life you know you can live a better life if you can beautifully communicate with yourself now when you talk about communication you may be having passions that you wanted to do Maybe you wanted to write a book. Maybe you wanted to learn singing or an instrument or dance. Or what? what are you doing about it? Are abhi to umar ho gaya. Now wear dance. Now wear singing. Okay. Look at my voice. What has happened to it? X, Y, Z, right? So we have these excuses which come. My excuses, yeah. You're doing it for yourself, not for anybody else. You croak, na? If you have a bad voice, croak. <laughs> That's okay. But allow that thing to come out. It's your <clears> communication, <throat> right? It's your communication with yourself. So identity, what you really feel like doing in life. Live that. Live that. Even if it's a small fingertip hold on that on that passion, it's okay. You don't need to be, you know, Bhims and Joshi, but small thing. One gathering and I sang one song. It's okay. I sang That's one cool. line of that song. It's okay. What happens when you do that is that this navel gets cleared because deep down you are wanting to do it. You feel jealous of that guy who's singing here. You feel jealous of that peer group of yours. Oh my God. At this age, she started singing. Oh, how I wish I could do it. But I'm just not gathering the courage to do it. I wish someone would push me to do it. Am I right or wrong? I mean, Absolutely. isn't it? So you all have these multiple things that you all want to do. Maybe when you were 15 years old, you did that. Now you still want to do it. You want to collect comics. You want to spend time reading comics. He can do it. Who is asking me not to? I was giving a lecture at Rotaract, Rotary Club here in Bombay. And it was full of senior citizens. Okay. So, and I was talking about this passion ka subject only. And one old lady, she was, she must be 90. So she, she said, can I tell you something? And she said, when everybody in my house goes out, no. I just shut the door and I start to dance. Okay. <laughs> she dances and dances and dances. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, see, even in our house where there are senior citizens, they need Abhi, you have become no, 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 don't do this. We what do we do? We push them down. We push them down. No, 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 you're not capable now. You'll injure yourself. You'll do this, you'll do that. You'll do that. Allow them to do a little bit. They are. Allow them to do a little bit. If they like cooking, it's okay. If they're in a wheelchair, it's okay. Let them go cut vegetables. Let them feel that cooker mein rakha hai. Right? If that's what they've done their whole life. 
so when you are deprived of your passion it's like a huge chunk of your energy is pulled out from you and each one's passion is different so you need to write down what are your passions how much are you following them not following them at all if you're not following them don't jump into doing all of them together that's too much energy coming into your system so don't do that you know you'll get overwhelmed so take one and find out how i can pursue this you can ask for some mentor can you guide me on how i can pursue this small 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 things and give yourself a deadline always important that i'm going to in one month move from this level to this level in this passion of mine that much and see how much energy comes in expression what i'm trying to talk is expression the more you express the more you so writing a book is one of the best ways to express writing just writing is the one of the best ways to express and when you do that you'll feel liberated you know see that's what you need right liberation from these stuck energies i don't think we really think that there are energies which are stuck you know in our system why do you think we we gain weight that's the reason weight gain is not due to food alone so many people go on keto diet this diet that diet they may lose 2 3 kilos and it then it comes back right some people say i hardly eat but i have still put on weight it's because you're programmed to say don't let go if you let go it will go away it could be some child so when you were a baby or a little girl or boy someone took away something from you with the force when you felt oh my god ah that ah is trauma at that age and it could have affected your navel your nabhi chakra and that could be a recurring program don't let go otherwise you will go it will all go away you know mm. so what is your program hold 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 so you will hold thoughts you will hold objects you will hold things you will hold fat you will hold fat also understood this so i have just kind of touched upon so many things as it as it was occurring to me <laughs> i hope it made sense to you all uh, so yeah i'll i'll conclude and if you have any questions please please to ask me thank you so much sir for the wonderful session it was really educative and we I mean, I personally got to learn how to communicate, express myself with myself, and to the world around me. That's been very uh, awesome session. A lot of a lot of uh, learning in that. And mm -hmm. if anybody has got any feedback, if you can go ahead. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Kainas. Thank you. All right, we will only find second of uh, summarizing the talk after we've got off time. Let's ask Brahman and Secretary of the Phone will do the honors. Subramanian sir, please go ahead. Subramanian sir, hello. Good evening. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening to all, and uh, that was an interesting session, and uh, uh, we've always we have heard you before as well, sir. and uh, it helped us to get ourselves reinforced with your thoughts because many of the thing what we are told today we have forgotten uh, <laughs> you know age really plays on us <coughs> one thing that a couple of thing reminds me is uh, one is you talked more like a i told you last time also a class in physics <laughs> <laughs> let me start in the classical way uh, let me thank uh, madam uh, nirmala for her uh, prayer uchishta ganapati and subhu did not do proper justice that's what i feel introducing you he just said you are just a personal energy coach for professionals and others i think you have much more illustrious background which we should be knowing about maybe next time when you talk we will be getting a, a more broader a picture of you and uh, yes you are talking to us for the second time in tapovan forum but uh, these talks really are needed this time uh, we got to know much more about uh, uh, 
as various points you raise and we are thankful for that and uh, you said when we stop communication the energy is stopped and you also said that uh, uh, it has to move repulsion and attraction in the hands what we uh, showed what you said is absolutely like physics electricity and magnetism do operate on us and you said the 1000 watts of uh, energy uh, from 100, 100 100 watts sorry 100 watts how long this 100 watts exists you did not say <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about energy, it is also connected with time. A yes. hundred watt bulb can be uh, made to glow for a second by even a small battery. But how long it should go? Sorry for being an engineer. I my <laughs> thought started uh, running other way. Uh, it's not to find out anything, but just to, a matter of information. Yes, I wanted to know from you. And you last time also we had Rajini Khan visiting our. Uh, uh, people filled with room and they didn't even wash their hands for days together and those of whom who hugged them did not bathe for days because the feeling has been there in them. That is true. We get uh, excited over things and that is part of life. We deal with a lot of frequency, you said, that is for sure. And um, a good relation we need to build an energy block when you don't allow it to dissipate, obviously, you said it is like a garbage or a stagnant water. And it is very difficult to get away with the things we do. Uh, Hop on the old instances, carry on the old luggage uh, without any necessity. Uh, incidentally, the last week, the lady who spoke talked about forgiveness and she helped us understand. You just forgive and forget. That is the best way to do that. This you really insisted upon and took us uh, through the process. Uh, no recognition it builds a block, you said, and we need to recognize the good things in our body. And you said that you hug yourself and you thank yourself. You feel good about yourself. If you don't feel good about yourself, how can you feel good about others and how will others feel good about you? Uh, that's a very good point. And you talked about the advanced pendulum dowsing exercise, the lady going with the kidney to think uh, probably it manifested itself as uh, some sort of discomfort for a couple of days, but she got rid of the problem. That was an interesting thing. And that is a practical example what you showed. And what, we re what I really enjoyed is, uh, or all of us, I'm sure, entering the body through the uh, Agnya Chakra, uh, probably you allow us to go down. Next time we will be going up uh, to see what is there in our brain because uh, that is a major role that plays in the life. And uh, uh, all of us went through our body and we did understand how much they contribute to our body. We have always been done in yoga more on the outward, outward part of the body or moving from our toes to the head this is the first time we entered. We not only entered, we took a very powerful light, like sunlight, and we carried the fragrance, what we enjoy, and we could see the things and how they are working. Uh, not day in and day out. They are working hour in and an hour out, or second in and second out, so that they keep us alive and going. We need to be exceptionally thankful to us. Uh, probably one had never thought about these things, we took life for granted uh, that these things are all given to us and they better work that way. And when they go wrong, we feel bad about it. And as you get old, one part of the body or other uh, becomes less efficient than others, probably focusing on them and thanking them more and being benign to them will help us uh, get to the rest of the people and help us in the same uh, mode or uh, to the same tune when all the rest of the body parts are dancing together. And uh, uh, to, talk, to talk the truth, uh, when you said we should be dancing with all those parts, I did really dance mentally and I did enjoy. And I also brought uh, 
the way in which the various shapes of the body are there and like a cartoon they were dancing with me that is a great exercise uh, probably we need to do it daily or weekly once you didn't define the frequency uh, if you say that once in how many days or once in how many hours we should be doing the thanksgiving that will be very nice and many of us felt into the navel area things are a bit difficult most of the problems do come because it is uh, inscrutable and you cannot reach and you nicely said uh, that is the important part where the emotions are getting stored and uh, that is where the other chakra that is uh, manipura chakra is located and you said a simple medicine like chill oil will be able to help you to ease out that area and able to enter that uh, that's a very uh, nice uh, therapy work and we will certainly try that out and uh, you said that uh, uh, feelings we need to live with and we should be not be behaving like nif or rai who becomes the uh, you know the uh, let's say the fountain head of motherhood taking all the problems on her and uh, uh, you know sacrificing everything in her life and i understand the women when they enter their mid 40s and they feel the empty nest syndrome they fall into the depression mode and they feel they are not wanted they are not they have not developed any hobby work the thing they don't have a job and uh, most of the time they do live all alone and that becomes a fertile area for depression and once you get into it it is difficult to come out it better to appreciate that we are worth something that is what you just said and feel uh, get over the problem that exercise uh, the ladies who are watching even though they have crossed that prime age they would be able to advise their younger one to overcome that they are really worthy for the society and they are a useful member of the society that we need to uh do that so that energy blocks are not getting formed over and they are able to uh, flow freely and they get uh, generated transmitted and then uh, they are also uh, destructed suitably so that we are able to maintain the equilibrium with the new energy flowing in and uh, keeping our life much more meaningful ourselves and to others as well and of course we can't help uh, eventually as we get old the ego takes over and many times on very trivial issues we take a stand without knowing the reason and uh, uh, i think uh, the more number of lectures and readings what we do we will be able to overcome that because the people when they get old they don't read anything and many of the people take the view that they know all everything the problem persists and uh, to go your uh, engineering way what needs to be done you need to take them to some sort of an annealing furnace and bring down the stresses that have been built and able to overcome the thing and relationship is a uh, you should be a white band and not a color band what you said uh, it went really well and emotions are in our navel for sure once we recognize and focus on that mentally slowly we will be able to overcome that this we will certainly train and co- communicating with the universe or god you said language is not the barrier and what is really required is more often than not we seem to ask things which we can neither manage nor we need uh, it is to keep up with the jones or keep up with live with our old uh, the wishes what we had a decade before when we were young rather than looking into what we need presently we also need to manage things which you very nicely put having a, a 3000 square feet house is a nice thing dusting itself is a very big problem and uh, do you need such a thing and what it needed is when you desire things you need to leave it to the universe to give 
what I deserve and what we need and what I can manage rather than be demanding. This is what you want. Unless you are sure and you are sold on the idea and convinced about the fact as to what you really require. You gave the very nice example of the Karodpati turning a milk vendor. And also we read about a couple of years before it in Kerala, a man uh, won a big lottery and he was swarmed by relatives of money. He had to surrender himself and go to the police station so that he get protection. Uh, that what happens. What we need is what we can manage. That's one. You may have uh, for passion. This story I heard earlier as well from you, if I'm not mistaken. The old lady was a passion for dancing. When everyone is out, closes the door and dance so that her energy levels are depleted and she is normal. I think at the end of the day, you really brought out the fact that you need to express yourself and communicate and you need to express yourself around the world. You need to communicate with yourself in terms of the body or thanking it, you and the, the body and uh, communicate with the universe with what you need and leaving it to the rest rather than demanding things which you can't manage. That was an excellent job and we are exceptionally grateful for sparing your time and giving us some a lot of insightful thinking into the process of communication. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you, Thank so you much, Subramanian. Sir. Thank you, Subramanian, sir. The wonderful summation as always. Now, before we close, I have a feedback from one of our regular viewers, MS Satyanarayan from Kolkata. He sent it by WhatsApp. He says, today I'm very much in discomfort, yet I followed him and found the session meaningful and fluctuous. So that's the first, uh, first and best impression we have on today's uh, show. Uh, thank you very much, Peter, for your valuable time. Yes, thank you, Nimala Vani, for the wonderful prayer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining the show. The recording of the show will be uploaded on YouTube sometime tomorrow. Kindly share the link as widely as possible. And it's the idea is for many people to get to know what has been spoken today. And that we come to wrap up uh, the wrap up all of us over here. And we meet next. Wishing you all goodbye, good night, and Shabratre.